Is this an M for money? I see. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, like no, no. <laughs> it's not. Rosanna Schaffer Shaw, better known as Farusha, works as a psychic reader from her apartment on the Lower East Side of Manhattan. She is one of many psychic readers in New York who are seeing their business change because of the economic crisis. Instead of love, more and more clients are asking about jobs and finances. Am I in the right profession and how are my investments and should I invest in such and such and will I make money from uh, the, the job that I'm, I'm, I'm doing or should I start my own business? This client, an attorney who wouldn't appear on camera, jumps right to the chase. Which sectors of the economy, if any, do you think will be growing um, within the next 18 months? All kinds of energy jobs, green, um, green economy jobs, and also um, uh, things to do with water purification systems and, uh, um, and home uh, security. I have applied for a number of positions, um, both with the federal government and with a, a volunteer organization. And I'm wondering if any of those opportunities or any of those positions do you see panning out for me? Yeah. Let's see what the cards have to say. Tell me when to stop and you want to know the truth. Yes. Stop. All right. Um, it, it looks, the energy around that is very good and um, in fact it looks like a likelihood in the long term but not in the short term. Farusha says that she too has been affected by the economy. The thing is that some clients now would prefer a half hour reading to an hour because it costs less money. She charges $150 an hour and $85 for a half hour. I don't find that there are any less clients than there were before. Um, people want to know also if their jobs are going to last. I think that is the biggest concern and this has been going on since slightly before the economic meltdown, you know, since like maybe the spring. And now it's more and more a question. Other psychics also find their clients asking about jobs and money. Lewis is an intuitive reader in New York City. He often rents rooms at Magical Realms, above a religious supply store on Webster Avenue in the Bronx. Instead of palms, he reads flowers. There are many people that talk to flowers, but I'm one of the few that listens to what they have to say. Okay, Alfred, I want you to uh, select a flower of your choice and hold it in your hands for a moment. This is Alfred, a 25-year-old substitute teacher in the Bronx who is worried because he hasn't been getting much now work. I'll hold it. Lately, there's not been a lot of activities happening for you. Um, you feel like things have slowed down, which gets you a little edgy. Um, and I do feel that there's going to be another, another job that you'll find is going to be much more suitable. Lewis charges his clients $100 an hour. Anything else? Alfred says he is considering opening an online religious supply store. This is a good time to start launching the business. Um, even if you don't get it going, you know, completely or whatever, it may be a good time to start up slowly. And then this way you won't overwhelm yourself. Let's say when you, you know, get into the school or whatever, you won't feel overwhelmed. You'll have the thing going already. Um, I think it's actually a very good time for a lot of people to start things. Alfred says that going to a psychic reader gives him confidence and hope, and hope might help to sell his religious supplies in hard times. I know that people look to like religious things as a sign of hope, um, and it could be, you know, it could be like good timing and it might help out. Yeah, it's always good to like have hope. 